After you've seen basically every laptop on the market, it, it becomes kind of hard to get just like truly stoked about something. Like just like, oh my God, I want that. But that's what we have here today. <laughs> Holy crap, this thing's insane. So this is the Asus ProArt Studio Book One and it is $10,000 worth of just the most bad crazy, insane, I don't know, every single spec you could ever think of in one. So this is the first Quadro RTX 6000 laptop and it has 24 gigabytes of VRAM. It's just, it's just, it's bonkers. Let's, let's get into it here. I have been bothering Asus just all the time for this ever since it was announced a couple months ago. Even apparently the power adapter on this thing is just off the wall. So this power adapter right here, which is just super small, is able to deliver 300 watts of power by using gallium nitride field effect transistors. I don't know what that is, but it sounds wicked. And this is, for its size, a really hefty little power adapter. What else do we have in here? Normally I don't expect to find like fun add-ons in a laptop, but once you're getting to the level of something being $10,000, you know, they can afford to put in like this nice little dongle here that has two USB type A's, a Thunderbolt, and a full-size HDMI port. I'm guessing 2.0 or 2.1. That's the new one, right? 2.1 is the new one. 2.1, yeah. All right, let's take a look. How does this even work? Uh, oh, she's heavy. Wow, that's a lot of laptop. Let's see what else there is first. Oh, there's literally no documentation, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably a pre-production unit, but as far as I know, we're allowed to run tests on it and everything. So, wow, this is heavy, especially for its size. Oh my God. All right, so this is quite a thin laptop, but it's 6.4 pounds. It's one of the most dense machines I've ever held in my hands. For ports, we don't get a whole lot. Now I get why they added the adapter in there. So we have DC in, Thunderbolt there, and then two more Thunderbolts here on the other side. And that's all you get. So you guys might be kind of confused looking at it because on the bottom and like on the sides, there's no venting, despite this being one of, if not the most powerful laptops on the market, but when you open it up behind the display, it opens up 4.57 degrees to allow cooling like air to get in and cool everything down. And we even have, <laughs> it looks like there's even venting just above the screen here. This clearly takes inspiration from Asus's mothership project where they were just kind of like, hey, yeah, if we turn a laptop upside down, it runs way faster, that's cool. And they've kept on doing that here. So inside of this thing, the specs are just beyond crazy. So we're talking a core i9-9980HK. So that's the one that goes up to like five gigahertz and beyond eight cores. We also have an NVIDIA RTX 6000. So the Quadro one with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. We have 64 gigabytes of RAM. I think a one terabyte SSD and a 90 watt hour battery. That's kind of, all of those are just the fastest that you can get in a laptop right now. Well, I guess the processor, you could go AMD, whatever, close enough. I'm just curious how it works that like, it can have all of the internals in the back and not fall over. Like where's the tipping point? What's so heavy about this palm rest? Yeah, cause the balance points like way back here. I'm guessing that just this whole base is battery and only battery. And that's how they got it to be so heavy. I don't know. Uh, unsurprisingly, just everything that you touch on this laptop feels excellent. It's all very rigid. It's not going anywhere because there's like a whole computer back here. Yeah, it just feels really great. Just like your manhood can feel really great. Thanks to today's sponsor, Manscaped. Manscaped's new Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer is here. It features the same proprietary skin safe technology that helps reduce nicks and tugs. It has a premium 9,000 RPM motor that powers a 360 degree rotary dual blade system. Get 20% off and free shipping of the performance package when you use the code circuit at the link below or on manscaped.com. Okay, yeah, that's an excellent keyboard. I do wish that it had just a, a tiny bit more travel. Then again, it has that real like snappy feel. So you're able to just really blast. Although I don't know if I'd want to type on it for like 
hours and hours. That said, after getting used to it, I imagine it would be fine. Like something like, it reminds me a lot of the MacBook Air, like the most recent one, which I got used to and really enjoyed after a couple of hours. The trackpad also is really big for a Windows machine. Now, then, then again, everything here is quite big, but especially for Asus, who I don't always expect to have the best trackpads, this one seems really quite good. I don't even feel like a lot of them I need to tune before I can get it to feel right, but just from the factory, this feels pretty good to me. I am gonna turn off acceleration though. So this is normally where I'd complain and be like, yeah, the display, it's pretty good, but you know, I wish that it was 16 by 10. Although I'm gonna give Asus a pass here today because this thing, this thing's crazy. So we have a 4K, uh, okay, it's not a touch display, but whatever. It's Pantone calibrated, so they say that it has less than one for the Delta E's. You'd expect two for professional photo work. And it's 120 hertz. Like, they got 4K, 120 hertz, and super color accuracy in this laptop. There's just, there's nothing to complain about. Well, 16 by 10, we can complain about that, but we, we really can't because like, they nailed basically everything. <laughs> Yeah, David just said the screen's insane. It doesn't even look like a screen. It looks like a print. And I agree, this thing's wild. Oh, let's just have a gander at some B-roll here. It's a good looking display. <laughs> well, I could do more testing and stuff on the computer, but whatever. We have a full LCT video coming on this very soon. So we're not gonna bother here today. I wanna see if we can take it apart. So if you guys watched our video on the Dell XPS 17, we just absolutely gushed about how they got 100 watts of cooling power from a big old vapor chamber. Asus has just <laughs> absolutely knocked it out of the park in that regard here. So we have a vapor chamber that's made out of titanium apparently, and it's good for 300 watts of cooling. And I really want to look at it, but I don't know if we'll be able to. Oh, this is... Oh, oh, this is not great, but I think it is what we have to do. Oh. I mean, I'm not the one firing off that email to Asus. Okay, let's just start with the screws that we can see. I don't think it'll get us access to what we want, but at least it's, you know, a bit more sensible than just pulling the display off and seeing what <laughs> happens. It does look like they're all the same screw at least. We'll get to have at least a nice look at the battery and hopefully figure out how we can get in the top. I do not like this one bit. I also like it a lot, but this is not a small chunk of change in computing right here. Huh. Yep, guessed correct there. Bottom's just entirely battery. You don't normally see that much battery in a laptop. Also, this piece right here is just, it's really nice. It's clearly been CNC machined from a solid block of aluminum. You can see all of just like the little machining marks all the way up here and this not cheap, not cheap at all. It looks like this hinge is made out of magnesium, continuing the trend of things that are definitely not cheap. Battery's off. <laughs> Whew. I think I'm gonna call it. I don't see any way to get into the back of the machine without pulling the display off. It might work. If it doesn't, we destroy a $10,000 laptop. We got to look at this big old battery. We didn't get to take a look at the titanium vapor chamber, but we need to leave something for the LTT review. I'm gonna call it there so we don't end up with a very expensive paperweight and a very, very awkward email to Asus. <laughs> oh, there we go, yep. Yay. Yeah, it's fine, I wasn't concerned. That wasn't, we didn't do very much to it. Anyway, this is easily one of the most bonkers laptops that's ever been made and I can't wait for the full LCT video to be done on it. Maybe it'll just be like an hour of Linus just stress sweating as he pulls the display off of it to get a look at that vapor chamber. I'm not totally sure yet. I hope you guys liked it. Get subscribed to Short Circuit and LTT of course. And I don't know, just have a fantastic day. See you later. <laughs>